Hi guys, my neighbor is outside washing his cars, so that sound is going to go off and on. He's being so fucking annoying. Everything he does is annoying. Like, he's not a good neighbor at all. And I don't even think he realizes it. Like, he is just one of the most... I don't even think he realizes that he's such a trash neighbor. But, wash your fucking cars like everybody else. Why are you making that loud ass noise? But, I'm just irritated because I work from home. So, I hope the noise isn't bothering anybody. As long as it's not my actual auto, I don't care. I was really sad because the last reading we did, it was so good and the audio fucked up. Like, I I really didn't want it to cry. I wanted to cry. But I am getting the energy of somebody because I was hearing the song, What do you want from me? I, kept, <laughs> I didn't mean to try to sing it like that. But I kept hearing that song in my head and I was finna do my pick a card reading, but I just want to get some messages out that you know may somebody may be trying to get out to you so what do you want from me by adam lambert somebody doesn't want you to give up on them they don't they're trying to work some things out in their life but i don't think this person knows what they want from themselves let alone you know worrying about what you may want from them or what you may need from them i'm not sure if they, they can provide you with what it is that you need but they don't it's like somebody doesn't want you to give up on them, but they don't want to put in the work that it takes to keep you around or to keep you with them. So I'm just going to pull some cards from the cards that I did not use with my pick a card deck. And then we have the King of Swords. So this is someone that is cold towards you. Someone that is cold towards you. Um, this is why. If you're wondering why someone is so cold, cold towards you, they want you to decide what it is that you want in terms of a relationship with them or dealing with them this person thinks that by being cold towards you it'll get you to reach out to them it'll get you <laughs> the three of wands it'll get you to reach out to them it'll get you to tell them what you want what you need and you know how you need them to be it'll give them something to have like they need an expectation from you in order to be that but it's like you might be the type of person that I'm getting because it's like, I don't think you and this person are, I'm here and will ever be on the same page. Cause I'm like hearing that you're the type of person that you don't have expectations for anybody. So you may be the type of person where people really have like, I'm hearing disregarded you, disrespected you, and just completely, you know, disappointed you, 3Ds, <laughs> DDD, disregard, disrespect, and disappoint. Okay, and you've gotten to a point where you don't expect anything from anybody. You don't expect nothing from your mama, your daddy, your sister, your cousin, especially not no random nigga. Okay, so that's what I mean. <laughs> you don't expect anything from anybody at all. So it's like if this person's being cold towards you, what you are going to do is that you're going to move accordingly. This is a masculine energy. Now, as a female, if you are like a woman, if you are a feminine energy, you could be somebody who's very cold and you come off as in a masculine energy. And so someone's energy towards you may be, you know, oh, you want to be too strong. You want to be too independent. You want to be the man. But in reality, what men need to realize is that there are women out there who have to play that role because y'all won't. Y'all want to be the females. Okay. Y'all want to be called and, you know, Re reiterated with positive affirmations of love y'all want to be chased so that y'all feel like someone cares y'all want people to do things for you and buy you gifts and take you on dates and make you feel like they care so you can feel like someone loves you i don't know what kind of child abandonment issues that you have but in the real world that is how a woman would feel what men want is what men will pursue if a man does not want you, a man will not pursue you. That is the mindset of the feminine energy, okay? So somebody may be um, misinterpreting your actions or the way that you are towards them. Uh, I feel like somebody, I don't think this person is lazy. I think they're like the type where they're not just going to take you on a date. You have to say, hey, we should go here. You have to make the plans. You have to pay for the tickets. You have to make them get up, get dressed, and go. And nobody, I don't think nobody wants to deal with something like that. We have the Queen of Pentacles and it came out reverse. If you're too busy taking care of your love interest, who's going to take care of you? So I feel like you guys are more so in the Queen of Pentacles rather than the King of Swords. 
energy. I think you're more so in the Queen of Pentacles energy, and this is someone who has King of Swords energy towards you. So they may feel like you guys are battling, battling it out. They may feel like this is something where it's like a... They may feel like this is like a, um, a standoff, but I don't think you're seeing it that way. So while somebody is somewhere off in their corner, please keep that shit off, sir. While someone is somewhere off in their corner, wondering what's your next move, wondering what's your next play, posting things, trying to get your attention, um, trying to make you mad, trying to piss you off. You're somewhere worried about your money. There's someone doing self-care, you know, getting your nails done, getting your hair done, everything did, working on your body. Um, I think you may have dealt with this person at one time and something that you failed to do was to take care of yourself and you don't want that to ever happen again. You may have got lost in this person and because you got lost in them once, you'll never let it happen again. And some of y'all, you could be a very earthy energy or very fixed energy. And we have the Knight of Cups. So this person will be offering you, this is a page of cups, not the knight. This person will be offering you love soon. I feel like whatever they're offering you, they're going to make it seem like it's bigger than what it really is. So just watch out for that. <laughs> they're going to make it seem like they're doing so much. Like in someone's head, them sending you a simple text is just doing so much. This person doesn't realize how lazy they are when it comes to love. They could be somebody that's like very attractive or very coddled. So they've never had to really try to get someone's attention. But it's like, whether you're super attractive or not, you're somebody who, you know, you love yourself. Somebody could also be the type of person where they feel like they're very attractive. So if they always deal with people who are less attractive than them, then they will always have control. And I don't think this person, why would you want to be with somebody that sees you as less attractive than them? This person kind of sounds like a narcissist. And I'm hearing covert. And then we have the judgment card reverse. They're judging you so flaw. <laughs> They're judging you so flaw. And you don't even see this person. This is the type of person that even when they do see that you look better than them, you are better than them, you have better morals than them, they still will try to fix it in their head and warp in their imagination. That They'll try to find a way to make you lesser than them. They'll see you with this beautiful, amazing, luscious life. And then they'll be like, oh... Well, you're materialistic, you know, <laughs> it's like well, on one end, you went from being broke and having nothing and needing them financially to, oh, wait, you're not broke. Oh, you must be materialistic and stuck up when in reality, they're kind of just an asshole. So um, outside of this person, I feel like you need to be more um, you need to believe more in your decisions that you want to make in terms of financial endeavors and creative endeavors. Because I feel like these things will actually work out in your favor more if you put more love into them. If you are more decisive with the things that you do. If you go into certain things without having anxiety and worrying about whether people will like it or not. You should do stuff because you're doing it for you. And you shouldn't do it for the reaction or the validation of other people. And you will see a tremendous you know, change for the, for the better. A more positive change when it comes to things that you are creating for yourself. And then we have the four of wands. Some of you, you will find yourself in a relationship soon. If you're looking for a home, you will find a home. Don't make sure that you're choosing wisely when it comes to wherever you want to live. Because something can look like a castle. It can look like a beautiful, beautiful, like, you know, it can look beautiful from the outside looking in. But once you get inside, once you look around, you'll realize that looks are deceiving. Or when it comes to being in a relationship with someone, I think that you may, with someone like, Eventually down the line, I feel like you may end up in a relationship with this pe this person, people. Some of y'all, you may have multiple relationships with multiple people. You may end up in a situation like that by mistake if that is for you. <laughs> so be mindful of, you know, the way you're dating, who you're dating, and how you're dating. Because some of y'all, I see you finding yourself in relationships with multiple people by mistake. But for the most part, what I'm seeing is that... Um, you will end up in a relationship down the line. And in this relationship, somebody may be more interested in you than you are of them. Or you may be the person this time that's second guessing, um, is there more for me in my future? You're going to see and you're going to feel like this person may not be a match for you. And this is an ex that is like coming back around. You have a lot of exes around you. You have two pages and you have a king. 
the king is an asshole, which is why they're a king. They don't care about nobody but themselves. So when you have that type of energy, yeah, it's easy to get to where you need to be in life and be very stable because you'll do anything to get to stability and you don't really care about how anybody else feels. And the other two are pages. So I do see multiple people reaching out to you. And there's something here about a home. I feel like a lot of y'all, you were not judging your love interests the correct way in the past. Um, I feel like you don't want, you don't want, I don't even want a trip. I want a big house. You don't want a man without a home. You don't want the man without a home. Or if this is a man, they want to have a home to put you in or they do have a home to put you in. I feel like when you are in a relationship with somebody, when you do find this energy, it'll be somebody where, you know, they don't have to come to your house because y'all are going to be able to go to their house. And you know what I was thinking about? Like women with children, you could be somebody that have children. I was thinking about it earlier, like a woman with kids. Somebody could be mad at you because you won't allow them like a vampire can't be invited into your home. 11, 11. Somebody is a vampire that you will not invite into your home. And they're mad about that. But it's a good thing that you have him. Like, especially if you have kids. You know the type of men that don't mind dating single mothers, playing with their heart, breaking it after being around her child, talking to her child, hugging on her child and loving her child like they finna be a future stepdad with no intentions of actually treating you the way you're supposed to be treated. I just feel like people need to be more mindful of others, okay? Um, I've always I've always thought like that too when it comes to mothers. You have to be very mindful of what men you bring around your children because there are men that will date you and pursue you knowing that they don't want what's best for you. And they will know that this could hurt you mentally. They know that this could stall your life. They know that this could cause you issues or problems. And they don't care about the child that you're raising. They don't care about how affecting you would affect them. They just like to have their ego stroke for the moment and what feels good. You know, they, they, I mean, somebody dates a string of single mothers. Like somebody's the type of person that they'll go play stepdad to multiple different women's children. Um, just to feel like they're doing something when in reality they don't even care to be there they just like somebody making them feel like a man and you have to be mindful of energies like that um i will say that ever since i have been in my mom's house just personally i don't have children but my nieces are always here and um when i was living in my own apartment i didn't really care about what a man had because i had everything myself so if I want a man around, if I want sex, if I want company, I could just have them where I want them. But being here has made me realize, and it's okay, whether you're a man or a woman, if you live with your mother, you live with your parents, you live with somebody, that is okay. Don't feel smaller than yourself, okay? Don't feel lesser than, you know? But um, you can find other ways to spend some time with your love interests even when you're in those kind of predicaments because you know i dated one guy he you know he used to talk about us getting hotels and things like that and that was very flattering that he thought about it and he was willing to do that with me but for the most part what i've realized being in my mom's house is that i've dated a lot of men who were not on my level who couldn't really do anything for me and who were too lazy they were they were late they're lazy they don't want to do anything for me um because let's say i date a guy now living in my mom's house nobody's coming in my mom's house i don't have my own i technically like don't have my own space here like i used to and i'm just not comfortable with bringing people in here especially when my nieces and my nephews and all of them especially when they be here so i learned a lot about a guy just by how he decides to handle not being able to come into my house like are you mad at me because I'm not letting you invade another person's home? You know, do you have respect for me? Do you have respect for my family? Do you have respect for my boundaries? Are you going to, do you have a home? Then take me to your home, <laughs> okay? And if you don't have no home to take me to, find it. Find another way for us to be able to have that intimate time, that intimate, because out of a man not having a home and a woman not having a home, a man should have a home. Okay? There are religion, there are uh, not religions, but cultures where women live at home with their parents until they're married. There are cultures where 
men and women live at home with their parents it doesn't matter but i feel like somebody around you if they can't come in your home whether you live by yourself or not you just don't want somebody in your space and i'm also seeing it for colored girls when she finally allowed that guy to come into her house and he basically like raped her okay i'm not saying nothing like that is going to happen to you but i'm just saying that somebody's energy is dark it's not good it's not it's not healthy um if someone's mad at you for having boundaries no matter what your boundaries are or mad at you because they cannot invade a space that isn't even yours to allow them to invade um so i just feel like somebody gets an attitude with you toward things that they is like you have the audacity somebody has the audacity don't don't do that i don't know don't do that and when you do it's like this is the type of energy where if you are living with someone if you are sharing a space it doesn't matter what you have going on or you just don't want someone to use your car like i don't let men use my car um i did let a man use my car but once i was in a car with him and he crashed my car and then when i would let a man take my car by himself i was just paranoid the whole time because i just knew he was taking my car to sleep with other women and then it's like if you're gonna do that don't do it in my shit that i pay bills for i just feel like someone doesn't have positive intentions for the boundary that they are irritated that you will not let them cross they don't have po positive intentions but they're irritated that you will not let them cross your boundary it says a vampire begging to be invited into your home so that they can drain you so be mindful of that because somebody who cares about you Will respect whatever boundary that you put up i don't care if you say i don't want to have sex yet i want to get to know you that person is only there for sex if they're irritated that they gotta wait a couple of days to get it i don't know what kind of boundaries you put up but don't let somebody disrespect you and there are other options there are other options you don't have to deal with one person especially when one person isn't willing to be patient with you when they don't even have the audacity the audacity when they don't even have the audacity to be impatient with you this person imagine someone being mad that you don't have this and you don't have that or judging you for what you don't have when they don't have none of that shit either and that's what i'm saying with men wanting to be women these days i feel like this is a masculine energy like even if it's a feminine energy like you can't judge somebody for not having what you don't have but i feel like one of y'all is being judgmental and the other one is like let's find a way to figure it out you see what i'm saying so but that's something that you do together and not by being lazy whatever it is somebody is being judgmental when they don't have the audacity to be judgmental it's almost like a female like i need a man making like even if it's a female i need a man making this much money having this much motion and this much movement and oh my god that's what you're driving you gotta have a <laughs> You know, and the bitch ain't even got no car. Like, why are you worried about somebody else driving if you don't even have no fucking car? But then on the man's side, it's like, why do you want to be a female so bad? I can't fuck with a woman unless she got this, unless she got that. What do you bring to the table? Nigga, the man is the motherfucker that go hunt and get the food and bring it back for the woman to cook. It's about what you bring to the fucking table. Okay. A feminine energy is technically not supposed to have to bring anything to the table. Does that, and don't say I just contradicted myself. I'm saying you're not supposed to have to. I'm not saying I have the attitude of I can't fuck with you if you don't have a bunch of ridiculous things that probably nobody around me has at this age. And <laughs> I know you don't make this amount of money and I'm not even doing nothing for myself. Okay. It's okay to have standards. It's a different thing to be an asshole. So I don't know who is who is being an asshole, but their judgment, their judgment is way off. The King of Cups. You got so many love interests. You have so many love interests. And there is one that loves you enough to see the future that they would like with you and to create it, to make it happen, to bring it to reality okay i just probably feel like this person has a very stoic personality okay they might like to have a drink every now and then this is the type of person that plans and executes the plans and you'll see what they've come up with after they've come up with it 
So I do think there is someone around you that has plans for you. And they're just going to pop up with everything already together. Okay. And I feel like this person is humble with you because you are humble with them and humble within yourself. So there is someone around you that has been watching you work on yourself while others have been tempting you down a very negative path. And this person is going to help elevate you and keep you on the right path because they know that you will help elevate them as well. So you will be in a relationship with someone who's very loving but they're going to be very straight faced. So you're not going to always be able to, if you're, if it's from the outside looking in, y'all going to be one of those couples where it's like other people would think, I don't know if he like her like that. <laughs> or I don't know if she like him like that. But when y'all go home, this person got their head and your breasts all laid up on you, cuddling you. You're probably the big spoon. All in your face, kissing on your neck, loving on you, you massaging in their head. Okay, I'm even hearing their hair, even if it's short or long, they could have really soft, uh, I'm hearing really soft curly hair. So yeah, other people are going to be like, I don't even know if you like her like that. And then if somebody was going to try your love interest, they would, they would get a rude fucking awakening. So that's what I see coming up for you in your future. And if you are looking for a home, I do see you finding that. I do see you finding that. Okay, and... <laughs> I'm also getting the energy of, I'm hearing what's yours is mine's. So maybe somebody waiting for you to get on your feet or waiting for you to get to a certain place in life. And they are going to get a rude awakening when you, when you're not going to, they're going to be cast out of your life. The way someone treated you when you didn't have whatever it is that they were judging you for, they won't be able to enjoy it when you do have it. And that's just that on that. Okay, so somebody is going to get a rude awakening when they realize that they're not able to manipulate you. Somebody has been working very hard on manipulating you. Uh, they got the whole plan together and everything. They've been working very hard on this and they've been wasting their life waiting on you to get yours. And by the time you get your life, they're going to have nothing but all of the time that they wasted. That's it. That's all they'll have. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Um, I would tell you to be aware of this manipulative person, but you don't have to be aware because they're not going where you're going. They will not have a piece of your pie and that's, that's that on that period. And I hope you guys enjoy this collective reading. I'm about to get into this pick a card. <laughs> I got the pick a card stuff all out and stuff like that. I just had to get that message out because the song was in my head.